Uh, so first, th thanks, th th thanks, thanks so much for um, for inviting me to give this talk. Um, and I also, I, I know there's some analysts in the audience or some people who haven't done low dimensional topology in a long time. So I'll do, a, I'll, I'll try, I'll try to do, do a lot, do a lot of background. Um, and if I don't get to the end, I don't get to the end. Do you learn something from the background section? Fair enough, right? Um, okay, so this is joint. This is mostly joint work with Shay Velovic and Mike Wong. Um, anything that I say incorrect, that's at the end, that's incorrect, is my own fault, not theirs. Anything that's correct and before that is joint work. Um, and so the, the main goal for the talk today is I want to explore the structure of the Lagrangian cobordism relation between Lagrangian links. I'll just call that relation early less than um, on, on, on Legendrian links. Um, and I'm going to do that in three, in three steps, um, maybe equal, maybe not. Um, the first step is, is, um, is I'll, I'll give you a little bit of background, especially about smooth cobordism. About smooth cobordism, about Legendrian, about Legendrian nuts, and about Lagrangian cobordisms between them. Um, I'll proceed to talk about the main theorem. Um, and the main theorem really is going to say that any two Legendrian links, given any two Legendrian links, I can find another Legendrian link. And so cobordisms from, from these two to, to the top, think of, you can think about that as given any two Legendrians, I can find an upper bound um, with, respect to the, with respect to the relation. Um, and then finally, I'm going to use this as framework. For future explorations and future, and, 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 and future questions. Um, especially, I want to try to find a use this to give a, give a framework to to uh, study Legendre and Nazi Lagrangian cobordisms that's more parallel to or more more comparable to um, the, the, the structures that exist in the, in the smooth setting. Okay, um, there's also sort of two uh, sort of secret goals to the talk or sort of meta goals to the talk. Um, I guess I should let you in on them. Uh, this the, 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 the first secret goal is. Just asking, so how does adding extra structure to a topological problem help you to think about it better, to maybe to solve topological problems by adding extra structure? In this case, that extra structure is, con is contact and symplectic geometry. Um, and then the other sort of meta goal, uh, this is the H principle seminar, right? So I should have mentioned the H principle at some point. So the other meta goal um, is to think about, well, when can we extend results proven using H principles um, to critical dimensions or to, towards the dimensions where H principles no longer apply? Okay? Um, and so in particular, the main, the main theorem is, is something that was proven in higher dimensions by, by Oleg Lazarev using an H principle. And but which but that does not apply to low dimensions, and we're going to see how much you can sort of still get um, in, in in lower dimensions. So George, since, since you mentioned how like, yeah. are you going to talk about related to his stacking operations somehow? Uh, yeah, this is sort of a, a low dimensional hands on version of that of, of that, so that, that 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 handle stacking. Yeah. Like so, yeah, it's it's is it, this is very much inspired by by that work. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, Anything else before we get going with sort of the, with, with, with the meat of with, with the meat of the talk? All right. All right. So let's let's start off with some background. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sort of split the board on this side and on this side. This will be the smooth side. This will be the uh, contact symplectic side. And if I did this right, on the next board as well. Yeah, so we'll, 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 just, we'll just keep this going all the way through. Um, all, the, all the way through the background section. Okay, so let's start. So um, let's start with, with, just with some definitions. And um, then we'll do some definitions by picture. Um, so let's start off. Let's, let's say we have some three manifold Y and a knot. K inside in, in, inside of three manifold Y, um, and we'll say that K and here's another and here's here's another copy of Y three. 
and k prime have are, are smoothly cobordant. If I can find a surface um, in, in, in the interval, that's supposed to be straight. If I can, if I can find a smooth surface in the interval cross y, that joins k at the bottom and k prime at the top. Okay. This is not very interesting, is it? Say again. This is not very. No, interesting. no. This is deliberately not. This is deliberately not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But, but the, 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 the issue is that this is not interesting smoothly, and uh, yeah, it's yeah. interesting um, simplexly. But I'm going to try to make it boring. So the goal is to make it boring simplexly. <laughs> um, so right. So so again. So so we'd say here that say k is cobordant to k prime, um, and we'd say that k is concordant. To k prime, if this if this is concordant, if the genus of the surface is zero, and going back to Kai's question, this is interesting. This is this is this is very interesting. This is more interesting than I'll try to give you this somewhat interesting in a minute. <laughs> okay. You see that one y is same. Where y? Why just some some three manifolds think r r three is good enough. For today. So y3 is a three manifold and y in the middle is. So, oh, this, this, this is the y3. Okay. This, this, this is just interval cross y3, a slice, a, a, a slice of r4. Just a, just, 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 a, just a slice of r4. Uh, a slice of r4. Okay. Yeah, anytime I say three manifolds, it's, it's hard enough to think about r3. Okay, so let's look, let, let's, let's look at, the, uh, at, at the Lagrangian Legendrian side. Okay. So now, instead of just a, th a, a nice smooth three manifold, we're going to need a contact manifold. Um, and, you, and the way to think about, about, about what, what this contact is, there's a, there's a one form alpha, and the kernel of that one form is a completely non integrable plane field. In other words, you can't shove, even locally, you can't shove a surface through this plane, surface, through this plane field and have it be tangent. <laughs> so surfaces aren't tangent, but, 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 uh, but knots can be. And so this is a, ooh, I got color. <laughs> so it's completely not integrable. A good example to keep in mind uh, would just be R3 and DC minus Y dx. Um, our boost there says every contact manifold is locally that one anyway, so it's not like we're losing too much. Um, and then I want to look at knots inside in, in, inside such a contact manifold. Okay. And I'll call that I'll call that capital lambda. And this is Legendrian. It's always tangent to the contact structure. So again, in, in a completely non-integrable plane field, you can't thread a surface, but you can, but you still can uh, thre thread thread a knot through. Okay. Um, and if we're in R three, sort of, if we're in, if we're in this R three, then we can always draw things in the X Z projection. So if this is the XZ projection, and you think of y, y, is going, y is going into the board, and you can recover Y if you sort of solve, if you, if you do what you shouldn't do, set that equal to zero and solve for Y. Don't do that. Um, but you get that Y is just the slope of the, that you can recover the Y coordinate from the slope. Um, and hence, you always get that the crossings look like this because this is the more negative slope, so negative y is in front and positive y is behind. And there are no vertical tangents. And hence, whenever you want to turn around, you have to, you have, you have to do sort of this, this, this nice semi-cubical cusp. And hence, the, and that's, that's, these are the, that's, that's where the, these, these pipes are coming from. That's, 
that's smooth in R3, even though it's certainly not smooth um, in, 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 in the projection. Okay. Um, and then there are two, two invariant, two classical invariants. The thurston Bennekin number. And this measures sort of how the contact plane is twisting around the knot as you go around it. So it's sort of the contact framing of the knot. And the rotation number. And that's just sort of counts how much the um, how, how much the Legendrian is spinning is ro is rotating inside the contact inside some trivialization of the contact planes. Okay, so these, so great. That's all of Legendrian knot theory in about a sixth of this board. Um, but let's let's let, let's 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 think a little let's think a little bit harder about this. Okay. Um, all right. So that's just one slice, but we want to talk about cobordism. So. We'll have to look at y alpha again, and then try to put, turn, turn that into a four manifold. Like so. Um, and here we're, we're going to take the whole real line cross y. And this is going to become a symplectic manifold, in other words, a manifold with a, um, a non-degenerate uh, closed two form. And that symplectic manifold is going to be the symplectization, which is d e to t alpha. Um, and then we'll look at maybe another Legendre knot down here. And then we're going to look at cobordisms that sort of respect the symplectic structure, <laughs> that respect the symplectic structure between them. Okay. Um, and these are going to have to, and we're going to ask them to be completely cylindrical outside of outside outside of some compact set. And so they're, they're going to have to agree with the Legendre cross cross R, sort of above and below this this interesting spot. Um, and these are supposed to be Lagrangian, and which just means that that the symplectic form vanishes on, on vanishes on. So this is Lagrangian L. Say so. These are things that have this have to have, have, no, have no symplectic area. For the more in, for the more experts in the audience, I also want them to be exact. Um, and there's one more condition. I'm, I also I also want the primitive at the top and the bottom to be completely constant if there's even if there's multiple components. Um, but uh, let's just leave, let's let's, let's let, I'm, I'm not going to use those conditions um, sort of that closely. So I'm going to leave that for now. So again, I want so I want Lagrangian. I want these to be exact, and also the cylindrical. At plus or minus infinity, and this and, th and this this scores in relation is um, more interesting, sort of more 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 interesting than than the smooth one. And let, let me tell you some structural reasons why it's harder slash more interesting. Okay, so continuing our smooth on this side and Lagrangian Lagrangian uh, dichotomy up, um, on, on 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 this side. Um, Okay, so let's let's maybe ask ourselves what's the basic structure. The basic structure of this relation, and let's get and going back to what Kai was saying before, um, it's boring on the smooth side. So um, any so, so well, I want to wait. I don't want it to be boring yet. It'll be boring in a minute. Okay, so both cobordism and concordance are equivalence relations. Um, maybe we should quickly check, right? So a knot's related to itself just by taking just a straight cylinder. Um, if, 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 if a knot is, is coordinated to, to, to a different knot, you can just flip it, that gives you symmetry, and then transitivity to stack them, right? Um, okay, but on this side, so 
this 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 relation is only a pre-order. And that means it's reflexive and transitive. Right? So reflexive means you can't just take a cylinder. That's 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 not a problem. And transitive, the whole point of this cylindrical business um, is to be able to stack them. Is to be able to stack them on top of each other. So it's the transitive. But I drew that. Okay, so the fact that this was kind of curved was a mistake. It's supposed to be straight. The fact that this was sort of conic was not a mistake. So if you if you try to flip it, you can't. You 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 you, you can't you can't actually. Um, you, you, can't, you can't actually just flip, flip a Lagrangian cohortus and hope to get an, a, a nice exact Lagrangian cohortus. Um, and in fact, you can there are examples where you can prove that you cannot, there, there's cohortisms in one direction, but you, but, you, but you actually cannot. So this is actually provably not symmetric. And open question. Is whether it's actually a partial order. Hmm. Good question. If any of you want to solve that by the end, please tell me and I'll put my name. No, I mean, <laughs> but anyway, it's, 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 um, and then maybe we should ask, yeah. So that's the undergrad question. What is the missing property? Oh, um, anti symmetric. Oh. So if, 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 if A is related to B and B is related to A, then A is equal to B. That's actually kind of hard. Um, okay, so now let's ask. So, so, so just, uh, yeah, go for it, please. If, if A is less than B and B is less than A, then all our invariants we know will be the same, right? Like, like yeah. you, you take the Chicano for the or and mm -hmm. those kind of things will be the same. Yeah. They, uh, oh. Right, but. Yeah. Uh -huh. But like even knowing the Adric examples of things which are not reclusive and have vanishing, what happened here? Maybe that's useful. I don't know. I mean, you could even, I mean, it's even, it would even be hard, even, even in the case where, say, the, the bottom is Lagrangian fillable and, and, you, and you actually have all of the invariants at, at your disposal. I think, I think it's still not clear what happens. It's the, the cohortism doesn't have to be, in this, this relation, the cohortism doesn't have to be a cylindrical, right? Like in any way, the topology can be any Lagrangian. Any Lagrangian. Oh! Thank you because I forgot to say something up there. Okay. So the topology is completely determined. Uh, the topology is completely determined. And in fact, um, so it's, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not hard to show that. So first of all, that the rotation numbers are the same at the top and the bottom. Um, and then if you take the difference between the TBs at the top, at the bottom, you get the other characteristic of the project. Okay. This is very easy. This is this is very easy to prove. I see. So the numbers so that, along with the boundary, the fact that you know what the boundaries are, is that you just know what the surface is. As long for as long as long as the for not for knots, yes, for links, sure, you can yeah, play yeah, you, yeah, can, yeah. you can play around. But for but for knots, yeah, that, that that's also that. Okay. okay. So that so then if so then if two things being well, two things being related to each other does mean at least there's a cylindrical cohortism connecting them that's if, if, if you go in both directions. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Right. But yeah, because, right. So you already you can't flip it if there's um if, if there's any genus. Right. So you already have, you already know you have to have the TVs being the same. Yeah. And 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 and, and things to ask to be cylindrical. That's yes, the problem's already reduced to that. And it's still damn hard. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Especially questions that make it so that I remember that I for, remember that I forgot something. So when you so the scale so uh, so you, you consider Legendrians that are like scales of each other the same? It's just up to Legendrian isotopies that. Um, that's a great question. Um, today, yes. Today, I'm just considering that Legendrian isotope because basically because Legendrian isotope induces a, a cylindrical cohortism. Yeah, that's that's that, that's enough. That's not trivial, but I mean, it's not hard. It's not trivial, but, but it only goes in one direction, right? So, like, if you made a Legendrian, like Legendrian bigger, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't have a cohortism. The cohortism would go. Kind of oh, okay, but that's different. So that, that's that's a different question. So. Um, okay. Again, any isotopy, and you can shrink or expand a Legendrian uh, via Legendrian isotopy. That's fine. 
So no matter, so you, you get a, so it's like a, a like say a bigger unknot and a smaller unknot, you get a coordinate in both directions. And that's just by sort of by force of if there's a, if there's an isotopy, you get a coordinate. No, I, I guess okay, okay, sure. Um, there's actually a, a whole a list a list of questions about going from a bigger to a smaller, uh, say even bigger to a smaller unknot. Um, there's actually a lot of geometry, but not topology. Mm -hmm. um, so for instance, um, this is this is work that Lisa Trainer and I did a couple of years ago. Um, if you go from a, a smaller to a bigger unknot, I can do that really quickly. I, I, I can do that. Where this, where, where sort of th this chunk is as small as I want. If I want to go do the reverse, I actually need I, I need space. Um, for instance, if the big one has like is about size, if, if the ratio is sort of two to one, then I need about log two length to get it done. Um, th there's also um, actually form of non squeezing comes up in that. Um, if you try to if if you look at the, the the big to the small one and you try to squeeze a uh, sque squeeze a Darbu ball into it. Um, where, and again, you sort of have to have the Lagrangian part to go to the Lagrangian part. There's actually, there's actually a non-squeezy phenomenon in that direction. Too. So, there's, there's, so in other words, that's a really, really, really interesting set of questions that I'm going to ignore after the end of this sentence. Okay. Uh, oh, good. Thank you. I did forget one thing. I should probably convince you that these exist. I should probably tell you, like, convince you that these exist, like, sort of tell you how to construct them. So let me give you three constructions. Now my how in layer about the colors I use is coming is coming back to the fore. Um, so isotopies. So isotopies through Legendre knots give, um, induce cobordisms. Um, you can do zero handles, so you can go from nothing and attach a nice little. And that's a little John Green unknot. Or you can just, or you can sort of do that separate from anything, too. It doesn't have to be completely empty, but you can just, you can always attach a zero handle. Or you can also attach a one handle. Where your one handle is sort of a lot. Here's, here's the core of the one handle, here's the co core of the one handle. Uh, but and in this direction, and again, the direction matters. In this in this direction, you can you can attach. You cannot attach a two handle in this in this way. There's some kind of sub. Well, there's some kind of below the halfway line thing going. On. You can't. You, there, there are no, no two handles. Okay. Any other questions before I finally I, I, I finally agree with kind that this is that it's, this half is boring. The trick, by the way, is you always count to 17 to see if there are any questions. <laughs> or, or, you've just, or you've just bulldozed, or, or you've bulldozed through your audience. Okay, so maybe we should ask what's the related. Um, and on the smooth side, this is why I this is boring, everything is related. So any two. Any two knots are important. That's correct. That's it. so. In other words, i.e., this is boring. This 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 relation is boring. Um, but concordance is actually super interesting. Um, so if we take C to be sort of the set of knots modulo concordance, this is the uh, this, this this is this is the sort of set of of, of Concordances. This is actually an abelian group under. Uh, this is actually an abelian group under under genetic sum. Um, it's big. There's at least sort of an, an infinite, like an infinite set of z's and an infinite set of z mod twos in it. Um, and you actually, and on top of this, so this is where this is this this really sort of comes back and it gets a little more interesting. Um, you can get a metric on on on, on, on the on the concordance group um, by using the minimal genus of any cobordism between two Lagrange groups. So um, say G four so the relative the relative minimal genus between two knots.
is a metric, and so the concordance you can think of the concordance group as 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 as, as, a, as a group with 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 metrics with, with um, so p metric group theorists I guess could hang, could do something with this. I'm sure they do. Okay. Um, on this side, on on, on the uh, Lagrangian side, we can ask what's related, and that's that's a hard question. I mean, let me just start by giving like here's some some instructions. Well, the classical, the classical invariant instructions, right? You have to have the rotation number and to be equal, and the, and the, and the, and the TV should, should tell you something about what, 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 the, what the genus of the proportion is. Um, and then there's a host of non classical instructions. I'm not even going to write this down, but let me, let me just still just say um, so. Contact like homomorphic curve invariants, like contact homology give, give you obstructions. Um, generating family homology gives you obstructions. The, the um, rulings, which are the combinatorial shadow of generating families, give you obstructions. Um, Hagar floor theory gives you obstructions. Sadra Witten monopole gives you obstructions. Um, sheaves give you obstructions. That's your second paper. Sheaves give you, sheaf, sheaf theory gives you, that, I told you I was going to do a thing. Sheaf theory gives you, there's a whole list of, there's, there's, there's a whole list of potential obstructions to these. All of which are not necessarily easy to use, um, and you don't. And, and even though they, they don't sort of tell you things about giving new phenomena, they won't necessarily give you like large large scale structure. At least not well. They do not yet give you large. Is the right is the pro, pro, proper way to say it. They don't. You not yet give you large scale structure. Okay. All right. And then I guess the last question we should say is so what. Why, why, why do we bother? Why do we bother defining all of, de de defining all of these things? Um, well, on this side, on, on, on the smooth side, um, this, this sort of gives you a nice framework in which to study, um, sort of study all knots at once, um, and also, and, and, and both in the sense of giving you this nice abelian group to work with, 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 with the metric. This isn't studied as much as it probably should be, um, and. It's also so, somehow secretly sort of the first place where you can see four-dimensional topology, where there really is a difference between smooth and topological features. Like somehow a, 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 a not two, two knots having a smooth cobordism versus having versus just having topological words that are actually genuinely different things. You already see, you know, the problem, the problem in low-dimensional topology already. Um, on the other side, um, well, this also sort of gives you a framework for this, for um, for studying all. Legendrian knots, maybe, um, and it also gets as as, uh, as Julian pushed me to, to do earlier. Um, it also sort of gets gets at fundamental questions in symplectic topology. You, you can already you can see problem of non squeezy in this in in, in, in this in, in, the, in this setting already as well. So that's that's that, that, that's that's just some motivation. But what I would like to do is I'd like to bring this side closer to sort of this kind of structure over here, and that's that, that's sort of that's sort of the main goal. That, that's that's the main goal of the talk. Okay, so that's it for background. Any further uh, questions or comments before we get to the main theorem today? To get to 17, you have to develop a tolerance for awkward silences. Okay. You can see why I didn't try to do this on the fly. Um, so here's, let, let, let me let me state the main theorem. And this is the theorem of myself, uh, Shay, and Mike Wong. Um, and it says, and it, and it says the font, basically I, I told you what it said before, but now I can that now I can state it um, a little bit more precisely. Um, Okay, so we're going to let given two Legendrian links in some tight three manifold. If you don't know what the word tight is, just think R three. Okay, um, and suppose they're null homologous, and the rotation number with respect to some some given cipher surfaces uh, match.
again, in R3, just ignore the, it's just the same, it's just same, same, just same, same rotation number. Um, then there are oriented Legendrian links. Lambda plus and lambda minus, um, so that um, I can find a Lagrangian coordinate from lambda and lambda prime to lambda plus, and they say these both come from, and, the, and, the, and, the, and these and these both come from some from from some lambda minus. Okay, um, let me make two quick remarks. So. Um, the existence of the lower bound. So again, you think think of lambda plus as an upper bound with respect to the, to the Lagrangian coordinate relation um, for lambda and lambda prime, and you can think of lambda minus as a lower bound with with respect to, with with respect to that. Okay, two remarks. Uh, remark number one um, is that uh, Miranda, Trainer, and Jan sort of proved the existence of this lower bound in R three um, beforehand, although. We need to refine their proof in order to make to, 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 to make our stuff work. Um, and then, as I mentioned before, um, Oleg Lazarev uh, basically proved this theorem, um, but for Lagrangians in higher dimension for, for Lagrangians in higher dimensional contact manifolds. And his his relation is a little different too because he doesn't necessarily do it in this collectization. He sort of does it in a smoothly trivial cobordism that might not be the simplectization. Why is tight important? Uh, um, great question. I will. I'll, 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 I'll show you. You'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll, I'm, I'm going to sketch the proof, and you'll see where you'll see exactly where it comes. Julie? So, like, theorem actually only for higher dimensions, like it, meaning, like, it, so it's only for dimension bigger than equal to five. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this proof crucially so relies. So it's an each principle thing. It's only true then. Bingo. Right. This is this is, this is exactly where. So um, we're trying to prove something that's. I'm trying to give you an example of something that you can prove sort of by bare hands that falls relatively quickly to an H principle in higher dimensions. Same scheme. But it's, 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 yeah, the proof, the sketch of the proof I'm about to give you is sort of the same scheme. I think someone else already pointed this out. Or as you already pointed out, the same scheme that, that, that Ola uses in this proof. Yeah. Um, I just have to be able to get the things I need out of the H principle by. Well, we'll see. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments before we go on? All right. So here's the idea of the proof. Is here. Here's, here's the idea of the proof. <laughs> well, let me explain. So. Okay, so the idea of the proof is as follows. So the first step is let's suppose let's, 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 let's suppose this is my lambda, and this I'm not is my lambda prime. This this is a figure eight. This, this is this is just the Lagrangian figure eight not, not not connected to the Lagrangian figure eight. Not. Um, and my goal is to find a and my goal is to find an upper bound and a low and, and a lower bound for them. Okay. So step one. Step one is just take, uh, so on each side independently. Um, just keep surgering it down. Just 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 find just find, um, find co cores of, of one handles and just keep and, and, and just keep just keep pinching down, doing some isosceles nice along the way if you have to, until you get down to a non knot, a smooth on knot, not necessarily the fact, certainly not the Legendre knot. So uh, pinch down. Both of these they get smooth on us with the same TB and the same R. The same R is guaranteed by hypothesis. The same TB is you just keep going, you can you can always reduce TB um, by you can always reduce TB by two by 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 um, by, by handle cash flow. So you know you can always get you know you, you can always do this and you can either do this there's two ways to do this you can either do this diagrammatically just like kind of what I'm kind of what I'm what I'm going to show you here 
Um, or you can do it using context surface theory. Um, the, di the, diagram only, the, the, di the diagrammatic proof works in R3, the context surface theory is which is, is sort of the, what, what happens in the general, um, in the general uh, type three manifold. So. Okay, using either diagrams or context surfaces. And let's just, let, let, let's let that play out. So um, here's the figure eight knot. If I sort of pinch here and I pinch here, I'm gonna get this. And if you look carefully, that is an unknot. So smoothly, that's just a little twist. I can untwist that, I can untwist that. That's just a little twist, I can untwist that, and I can, I can untwist that, and that'll, and that'll just give me, that'll just give me a nice, a nice smooth unknot. Um, this is an unknot already but it's TB is too high. So I'll just do a little bit. So I'll, I'll um, there's a bunch of isotopy hidden in this. Um, so basically, I can't remember exactly how to do this. Do a lot of rhizomites through one moves, set them up right, and then, and, and, oh yeah, I guess you do rhizomites one move here, and rhizomites for one move here. Nice. And maybe you have to do it twice to get the rotation number right. And then you sort of, and, 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 and then, and then, oh wait. And then you sort of pinch, and then, then you sort of pinch across there. I might have to do an extra right one to get the, to get, to get the, to get the, uh, the orientations right. Um, you do this a bunch of times and you, and, you, and you get down to this. Now this and this have the same TB and the same, same R by hypothesis, same TB, B is like native. Because I, because I forced it. Okay, so that's step one. Uh, step two, and Julian, you're asking about tight. This is where you need tight, is that in tight three manifolds, all odd knots are classified by TB and R. And so these two are isotopic. Okay. And you'll notice that these, 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 these extra, these, these extra um, little bits of the picture. So the, these, these are the cores of the one handles that I use to, to, to get down. I need to keep track of those, right? So not only do I get unknots, but I also get, the, I also secretly get these Legendrian handle graphs. Um, that, that again, this, are, this keep track of the one handles that, 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 I'm, that I'm using to get, to, get, to get down to the bottom. Um, since these two are isotopic, there's an ambient contact isotopy that takes this to this, and I just carry the hand and I just carry the handles with it. Okay. So carry handles. So I carry the handles with it, and I get some unknot with a bunch of with with with, with a bunch of cores of one handles um, sort of just sitting on it. Okay. All right. So that so this is this is my main. And my max is attach all the one handles. So attach all the one handles. And that and that and that will give you the max. Um, to see that you sort of goes through, you can sort of attach some of the one handles and then attach the remaining one handles, and that'll send you through either each each side depending on which 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 sets of one handles you attach. And you know, up to all of the details. That's how that's how the proof goes. That, that it doesn't depend on in which order you attach the one. And it doesn't depend on, and it doesn't. Yes, yeah, so in fact, yeah. So as a, the way we've done this, these two Lagrange, these two Lagrangian coordinates are actually Lagrangian isotopic. Well, these, well, I think well, like I said, you can just you can just you can just move the, the time at which you attach the one handles. Um, there, we, okay, so there's another secret in here. There's another, there's another secret in, 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 in the way we pinch this down. Um, we, do it, we do that pinching down very, very carefully so that the one handles are independent. So the one handles don't, so, so, so there's no um, sort of overlap between the one handles. That was my question, because if you had, then you can't. Yeah, then you, can, then you can't do it, right. And so you, um, yeah, so this procedure is actually, this step is actually takes care not to do that. Right. Um, although I think you can, I, okay, do not blame Shay or Mike for what I'm about to say. I'm pretty sure that um, 
you don't need to be as careful as we were. Yeah, to, yeah to, your, your structure, I think, I think it'll still work even if you sort of have one handles that depend on each other because these one handles might be dependent and these one handles might be dependent, but they'll be independent from side to side. It's like this set and this set will, will, will be independent. I still think, I think you can still get it. I think you can still get it done. But in case you're worried about that, our proof is careful in this to make sure that all the handles are And again, because they're dependent, it turns out that these, this Lagrangian and this Lagrangian are the same. But, but how do you how do you make sure that the two sides are independent? So if we start from two two different knots, right? And you right. Start, so, so how do you mm -hmm. um, and, and at, at, at the end, you use some, some abstract isotopy coming from. Yeah, yeah. right. Here. So, so how do you know right. that they are independent, the one handles? Right. Um, because the one, because the one hand, the cores of the one handles are sort of ge are geometric objects sitting in, in, your, in your context three manifold. Right? And then just by general position, you can just assume that they don't, you, you, after you do that, so you can just general position, you can just assume that they don't intersect. And that then, and then because they don't understand, you can just attach them. And then, then you can just attach them in any in any order in any order that you want. This isn't okay. So there's there's some secret. Going, this isn't necessarily canonical. Like you, you can imagine you can imagine sort of taking this and, do, and doing a little bit of perturbation where the handles have, have a slightly different interaction at the bottom, and, and you and you get different and and, you, and that way you could get different Lagrangians going to the top. That 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 I'll I'll, I'll certainly concede that. Um, but just being able to do, just being able to do, do, do the attachments, the, the one handles are genuinely are genuinely independent. You sort of do them in local neighborhoods. You can just do, you can do all the attachments in local neighborhoods of these handles, and those local neighbors are all disjoint, so it's okay. so it should be okay. Is that convincing, Kai? But I do agree that there. I I, I aligned to something that we were. I aligned to a, a bit of care and stuff. Other questions, other comments? Okay, so now that we have this fully operational battle, this, um, this tool, let's see what we can, how we can use it to extend, to extend our framework. Okay, um, and so with the existence of these upper bounds in, in hand, we can define sort of a new, a new kind, a new, a new relation um, that I'll call Lagrangian quasi cohortism um, between between two between two Legendrian knots, um, and this is going to bring sort of the, the overall structure on the set of Legendrian knots to, to something much closer to the uh, to, to the smooth concordance to the smooth concordance case. Okay, um, and this is really this is a framework. In other words. That's 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 like fancy speak for there's I got a lot of questions and I don't got many answers. This is this 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 this, this is just a framework. Let me let me let me make a definition. Okay, um, so a Lagrangian quasi cohortism I'll say script L uh, between. With Andrians, uh, lambda and lambda and lambda prime, um, is an object of the form well, I have my lambda, I have my lambda prime, and then I have cohortisms L and L prime to some to, 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 to some max. To, 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 to some, some, some max of Legendrian. 
Um, at this level of generality, I might actually want sort of zigzags of these, not, not, not just sort of single stages, but I actually might want, I, I might want zigzags of these. Um, but let me let, 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 let me let me leave the, the simpler definition up. Uh, let me leave the simpler definition up for now. Okay. Um, and this yields an equivalent. So <laughs> nice nice feature one. This yields an, an equivalence relation um, on, on 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 the set of Legendre knots. Isotopic set of isotopic classes of of, 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 of Legendre knots. Um, and then two Legendres are related if and only if their rotations are the same. So this is all right. This is sort of the boring part, where too, like where, where, too, where too many things where too many things are related. But at least we're able, but, but from before we couldn't relate. It was very hard to tell what, what we can relate. Now 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 it's interesting that this is boring. How about that? It's, it is interesting. It's an interesting fact. That this is boring. Um, but then we can go a little further and get to the interesting, to the really interesting part, and we can define um, well. So we, we can define, say, the Euler characteristic of a quasi coordinate just to be the sum of the Euler characteristics. Okay. Um, and then we can define the minimal genus between, minimal Lagrangian genus between two Legendre knots, just to be the minimal, the minimum overall Lagrangian quasi coordinates between these two. Of the genus of the, um, the genus of, of the quasi coordinates. Okay. And so now we have a notion of and now that we have, have a notion of genus, we can see, see when 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 that um, when that when that genus is zero, and so we can define Lagrangian quasi concordance. Maybe I'll just write as uh, squiggle L zero just to say two, two, two things are Lagrangian quasi concordant, two Lagrangians are Lagrangian quasi concordant. If there is a basically if there's a genus zero, Lagrangian quasi coordinates is between them. And now we're at the point where we can do things. That are a bit more interesting. Um, so, in particular, uh, we can define a structure that's similar to the smooth concordance group. Say the Lagrangian uh, quasi, uh, quasi concordance set, say. And the R is just to, is just to indicate the, uh, the rotation number because I have, to, I have to split everything by rotation number. Um, and so this is Legendre knots with rotation R. Mod. Lagrangian quasi, Lagrangian quasi, um, quasi concordance. All right, and again, so this, I'm, I'm proposing this, again, with no answers, as a framework that we, that we can use to, to better understand the set relations between, um, so G, and, and relations between geometric structure between the set of all the genre. Um, okay, so what else, what else can we say about, what else can we say here? Um, okay, so this is an abelian monoid under, um, under connect sum. Um, in particular, you can't. So, in um, for for concordance, the um, the inverse operation is to take a knot 
and you take its mirror, just like, like literally, literally, literally take, take a reflection and then, and then reverse the orientation. Um, if you do that in the Legendrian world, all hell breaks loose. Legendrian nuts and their mirrors can be very, very, very different. Um, I mean, the max, maximal TB is, for instance, can, can, can be very different. Um, and so you actually don't, you actually can't, you can't, in, you can't invert the way you can um, in, in the smooth case. So you just get a modified. You just get a modified. Um, and conjecturally on LCs, on, on the Lagrangian concordance with it's at, at rotation zero. And, I prob and what I pretty much, I think I can prove is if, if I just look at decomposable cohortisms. Um, and I, although I shouldn't need to do that, but I think, but at least for decomposable cohortisms, um, this should give you a metric. There's actually some subtlety with the triangle of quality. Um, if, you, if, 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 you don't, if, you, if you don't allow yourself to, like, to, to access the, at least for parts of the proof. What is decomposable? Uh, de of course I erased it, didn't I? Decomposable means I can, is something that I can, um, so I, I told you how to, how to um, I told you how to construct them, construct uh, coordinates out of isotopy, zero handles, one handles. A decomposable coordinates is one that's that can be constructed that way. Not all coordinates are decomposable. Well, depending on what hypothesis you put on, you can either say it's an open question whether all coordinates are decomposable or not all coordinates are decomposable, depending on, again, depending on the hypotheses that you use. Okay, and with this framework, um, we can now sort of ask questions about this thing, especially with zero, um, that are sort of that parallel or compare with um, questions that you can ask about the about, about the smooth concordance group. Um, let me give you two questions. So here's one. Here's here, here, here's here's one example. Um, this is sort of a comparison question. So when is when is the smooth relative four genus between two Lagrange greens the same as the Lagrangian four genus? Okay. okay. Um, we always certainly we certainly always get that the Lagrangian four genus has to be bigger because everything the Lagrangian is smooth, right? Oh, and and if, if you want to get an honest cohortism out of a quasi cohortism, just sort of take and smoothly flip this up and then flip this up and then glue it. So every, every um, quasi cohortism gives you a smooth cohortism, a genuine smooth cohortism, okay. um, and. Some of you might know that um, for fillings, when the, when, the, when, the, when the bottom is empty, like so when, 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 so when we just sort of take a course into the empty set, for fillings, Lagrangians minimize genes. And so this is actually equal when, when, so when, 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 you're, when we're talking about fillings, when, when, so for, for the Lagrangians minimize genes. Um, for cobordisms, that's not true anymore. Um, and, for some reason, it took me forever to figure this out. Even though the example, if you the example is ridiculously silly, um, so the answer is, for, so the, the answer is that you, you, you do you do get equality um, if, say, you have you have a, ge a, a genuine Lagrangian cohortism and the bottom is fillable. Is fillable by, by Lagrangian. So you get you, so you, in, in that sort of this fillable case, you do get you, you do you do get genuine um, equality. Um, but I don't know the genus of the minimal genus between the unknot and the stabilized unknot is one. Just 
by computing the thurston Bennington numbers. It's one. And of course, these are two one knots. So the four genus between them is, is, is a cylinder, so zero. So there, there is, there, there's, there's something somewhat subtle about this question. Basically, somehow the adjunction inequality doesn't really work when you don't have control over the, over the knot at the bottom. Um, OK, and then last question. You know what? That's a great question. This is, this is intriguing enough. Let, 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 let me leave it there um, and see if, if you folks have any, 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 other, any other things. Thank you. You, you know anything about the relation between concordance and quasi concordance? Um, it's, uh, it's smooth no, 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 or Lagrangian no, no, concordance. Lagrangian. No, 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 no. um, Can I rephrase your question? Is, uh, is, is, there, is there an example of, some, of, of two things that are quasi-concordant but not concordant? And I, that's a gr I wish I had an example of that. We tried and we failed to find one. We had candidates, but um, I, I think the best way to do is actually to use Hagar floor theory. Um, and the computations got too hairy. Um, and that's not saying that it doesn't exist, it's just saying, I wish I had, that's a great question, I wish I had an example of that. Probably. <laughs> Probably there's an example that would happen. Julie? Is it actually true that if you had a look, like two things that were equivalent to each other, like two Lagrangian knots that were, or, or sorry, where one was less than the, where they were both less than each other, mm -hmm. then uh, that there, is it, is it actually clear that they're kind of checking off Ellie Ashberg algebras will be the same? Because yes, be okay, yes. Um, because oh wait, because you get a map, you get a map both ways. But like the fact, you know, yeah. it, unless you know that the cylinder that you get by composing them is actually deformation equivalent to the trivial to a trace, right? You don't, you don't, you don't actually know that that map is going to be an isomorphism. So yeah, um, so that's still it's still possible that that could be, you know. Yeah, my my, my yes was. Um, the linearized contact homology is the same. Interesting. Why, why do you know that? Uh, you can just straight up. You can really just count. You can just count. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, can, I wish I remembered the exact proof of that. Um, I can't believe that I can't dig up the proof off the top of my head. The citation would be would be UPAM's, would be a paper. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, since the corollary is that she did. Um, as, long, as long as well, you have to have control. You have to have control over the augmentations at the top and the bottom. But okay. I think, but the, but the, the linearized things you could agree. And Lisa Trainer and I proved that for, for the generative family homology. Okay. Um, but I don't know. What if? But what? What if? What if? Yeah. What, if what if it's not? What, what if it doesn't have augmentation? What if? What, what if the high, what if the higher order terms tell you something that I'm not? I don't want to. Did she actually prove that like the augmentation categories are isomorphic? Is that yes? Okay. Or this is it isomorphic or an injection? Oh, so well, if you have both sides, then sure. You have both sure. sides. Okay. okay. I think she proved that support. Other questions? No, that's why your question. That's, that's your job. Seem to be the case. Well, I mean, everybody who wants to take portions of my jobs, that's like <laughs> very well. <laughs> but it does not seem to be the case. Well, then, thank you. Thank you.